Hi everyone. So it's a vlogmas day of four. What am I doing? Four. So for a top ten Tuesday, I figured I wouldn't do exactly a top ten list exactly as in favorites. I am going to tell you the top ten things about my work in progress. Because I don't talk enough about my writing. So I've been toying around with different stories, but right now I'm really focused on what I was doing in November. I didn't get to write as much as I would like to, but I still made some progress. And I really like this story idea, and I hope I can really make something out of it. So the first thing about my story is that it was my Nano Rhino. NaNoWriMo project. I didn't get very far just because of work and everything. I was kind of too tired to put all the effort in. But I have a good start. So I'm thankful for that. But yes, it was a NaNoWriMo project. The second thing you should know is it's technically a fantasy story. <clears throat> now, I don't know if you'd want to call this magical realism or urban fantasy. It is set in the future <clears throat> and their magic is kind of based around a kind of curse type thing. So magic is in their everyday life but they also live they don't live in like Hogwarts or Middle Earth or anything. They live in the regular like United States. The third thing is, one, two, three, is that it is told in a first-person point of view. That is my favorite point of view. I have written in both first and third. I do enjoy third when it, you know, when it seems to fit. But I always love to get into the head of a character. And that's what I'm trying to do in this book here. So, getting back to the like genre and stuff with the book. The book, or well, basically a good plot, a good portion of the plot is based around zodiac signs that people have to live within their, their zodiac signs. So getting to the next one, which is one, two, three, four, so five. Number five would be that our main character is a Gemini, so she is automatically a twin. And that plays a big part in it. Number six would be that so far my main character is named Amora. I was like looking up names that people think go with certain signs and that's basically how I named my characters and I guess that could be another number but I didn't count it but yes her name is Amora <clears throat> my working title so far is the Gemini Sacrifice the next one is that getting back to the fantasy in the Zodiac thing, there will obviously be mythological creatures. One being a centaur for Sagittarius's. Number nine is that I named a character after my sister because she asked me to. She's a Taurus, by the way. And then finally, number ten would be that the spirituality of the characters, whatever it may be within the story and how much it will come up will be more based on something like close to Wicca, basically. So there it is. There is my top ten things about the book I'm writing. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.